Does anyone else love reading or listening conspiracy theories without believing in them? I mean, it is like reading about ancient mythology. I love the reasoning they use to reach their conclusions. I love seeing the fallacies and how they obfuscate the facts. Sometimes their whole theories do highlight questions about reality and nature of humanity, which I love about them. But they don't really have good and testable explanations for such mysteries. The sad thing is that people may believe I believe such conspiracy theories when they see I study them. I may even deny it but they still suspect I do. But I don't. I agree. Sometimes you want to listen to all kinds of nonsense. It's just like watching a movie. Just to imagine that things are very different in the world. Sometimes it's really interesting to listen to. If it's fun conspiracies theories about the the true hidden sight if the spear of destiny or whatever. Then yes. If it's some nut talking about HIW Sandy Hook was fake. No. Yes. I even humor them. If I went to Point Pleasant. West Virginia. You can bet your ass I'm looking for Mothman. It's the meme with the alien poster. I want to believe. Finland isn't real is my favorite conspiracy theory for this. Most people don't actually believe it. But it's fun to look into all the proof. Fuck yes. Many of them are truly hilarious. My favorite of all time was the guy who claimed that the Will Smith Oscar slap incident was staged. In order to send a message that investors in the BlackRock Financial Services Company should pull their money out of the company. Thus the staged depiction of a literal black rock being slapped. And of course the one that Keith Richards is actually JFK Jr. I do, with a tiny inkling of well maybe in there. I think it's fun to think about. Absolutely. I like to consider conspiracy theories as a different side of a Rubik's Cube that I haven't looked at. Or maybe a different perspective to consider. Yes husband's co-worker is a fountain of that shit. It's legitimately fun to find out what new theories he has every few days. I love listening to the far out there bat shit crazy ones like Alex Jones and the Queen Eyed. Secretly a lizard. Endlessly entertaining. We were just talking about this stuff. I like reading different things. Saw how that guy was arrested running toward Obama's house. Can't imagine throwing my life away over internet BS. It used to be fun but now. These conspiracy videos are actually causing chaos. It's become rather sinister. Alex Jones is a fantastic comedian and a terrifying news host. I really enjoy the podcast stuff they don't want you to know because they break down conspiracies and discuss where they came from, what parts are factual and what isn't. The old fun ones. Sure. But Alex Jones fucking ruined that and now it's all QAnon style bullshit that's actively harmful. Conspiracies are supposed to be about the government hiding Bigfoot. Or Nazis on the moon. But now it's like even the fun ones somehow always end up as anti-Semitism. And it just gets tiring. Classics. Like JFK Da Vinci Code stuff is fun. Then you get into the CIA importing cocaine that actually accidentally lead to the crack epidemic. Is depressing. Then you get into weaponized conspiracies disinfo like Q. Stop the steal. Great awaking Andrenochrome stuff is sad because I've seen people I've grown up with lose their goddamn minds. It's like reading fiction, and as long as you remember that it's fiction it's fun. Yes I love watching ghost paranormal stuff even though I don't believe in it. It's still great entertainment. I like watching ancient aliens just for entertainment purposes. 
I believe in zero of what they're talking about. But it's just fun to think about. I got kicked out of a conspiracy theory group on FB rolling on the floor laughing rolling on the floor laughing disappointed loudly crying. Not really. It honestly just makes me feel ick to think about the warped ways some people think and more so how. It can influence them to be hateful and violent. Some of them are kind of funny. But others are just morbidly concerning. Anything that increases my awareness of humanity's idiocy is not something I need to engage with. I think not even conspiracy theorists believe them. It's just entertainment. More when you are talking about TV shows, podcasts, and YouTube channels they rely on them for their income so it doesn't matter anymore if they do. Believe them or not. As a science fiction enthusiast, I do watch them to spend some time or to see the different angles and the techniques they use to make something made up look real they amaze me in some cases. I do but I usually do it to see if it seems plausible. Some conspiracy theories I think are true. Some I think could be and some I don't think are true but I give each a chance and then try to reason through what seems right and what doesn't. Yes I do. And my favorite one is that the Middle Ages were made up, never happened. Every now and then I go to our conservative and I have a good laugh. I love conspiracies, aliens, ghosts, all that jazz. I don't buy any of it. I get a laugh out of some of it. Have fun debunking some of it. Imagine what it would be like if some was true. And pensively ponder the mysteries that remain. A good time all around. Very much so. My wife and I have always loved conspiracy theories. Reading about secret societies. Etc. Any time we're working together around the house. We have ancient aliens or a similar show playing in the background. I'm Christian. And I love it all. Even within my religious silo. I love discussing things like the Genesis Gap Theory and the Pre-Adamic Age. The Nephilim. And more. Heck. Half of what I say I believe is ancient aliens material to most people. Open mouth smile. I find the whole thing fascinating. The theories themselves can be interesting on their own in creative sort of way. I find the human nature to be able to believe something with so much missing logic more interesting. The human mind can be a puzzle sometimes. Try out Y files on YouTube. You'd like it I think. Even Julius Caesar said I love treason but I hate a traitor. And I too love conspiracy theories but can't stand conspiracy people. Me. I generally like urban fantasy. Horrors. Some superheroes stuff and general idea of hidden. Secretive things playing out in the darkness. Possibly of alien supernatural nature. But it's a entertainment concept for me. Similarly like completely fictional fantasy sci-fi worlds. Tabletop RPGs Mage Ascension. Mage Awakening and Unknown Armies especially got me hooked up and real world conspiracies can be. Great inspirations for them hell. A lot of them are already written in this stuff. Yes my favorite in law is the uncle who talked about MK Ultra, Chem trails. Moon landing hoax. Flat earth. Etc. He also talks about his intergalactic travel on UFOs after being picked up by aliens. Since he's been to outer space with his buddies. I assume he's qualified to speak on the shape of Earth. Not sure if it counts as a conspiracy theory but I absolutely love reading about ghosts and experiences of people seeing ghosts. Even though I never believe it. It's like a really good book. I call it brain candy.